I'm Maeve Larry, medical oncologist at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Centre. And I was excited to present at the meeting results from our first in human phase one study of the IDH1 inhibitor AG120 in patients with IDH1 mutant cholangiocarcinoma. This was a first in human phase one study, primary goal of determining safety and tolerability in this patient population. This was a heavily pretreated patient population with the majority of patients having had at least two prior lines of therapy and up to five prior lines of chemotherapy. Overall, we found AG120 was well tolerated. There was an initial dose escalation phase where the choice of dose for a dose expansion cohort was 500 milligrams based on favorable toxicity profile and on PK and PD data supporting activity at that level. We reported results from 73 patients in total. Overall, we found a low incidence of grade three and four toxicity. We had some uh, events of QTC prolongation, which were manageable with electrolyte uh, repletion and with management of other medications, which would prolong the QTC. And overall, it's a relatively um, low events of fatigue, nausea and diarrhea in a number of patients. Our secondary endpoints um, on the study were to preliminarily assess the efficacy and activity in this very select patient population of AG120. Acknowledging a first in human phase one study, we were excited to see a subset of patients with prolonged disease stability on AG120 and a response rate of 5% in this patient population. Most interesting was a six month progression free survival rate of 38.5% and 12-month progression-free survival rate of 20%. This occurred in the absence of significant disease response radiographically, indicating that we were having some effect at a biologic level on the tumour in the absence of radiographic response, which did result in a prolonged and clinically meaningful disease control. These findings will be prospectively validated in the ongoing randomised Phase 3 Clarity 1 study, which is assessing the activity of AG120 in the second or third line setting in patients with metastatic or advanced cholangiocarcinoma with IDH1 mutation compared to placebo. This is a double-blind randomised controlled trial with progression-free survival as a primary endpoint. The study will allow crossover at time of disease progression with unblinding for patients who have progressed on placebo and still meet eligibility for the study. The study also uh, permits central testing and actually requires central testing. So we encourage patients who are receiving first-line chemotherapy to have screening performed of tumor biopsy, archival or fresh, for the IDH1 mutation. So IDH mutation status may be known at time of entering second-line therapy to hopefully encourage our patients to partake in this biomarker-selected study.